Our week nine motivations will start in about two minutes. Hello everyone. Our week nine motivations will start in about two minutes. Hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. Uh, let's go ahead and check our website and our Facebook page. Right. Let's see, Facebook. It looks like Facebook is ready to go. Facebook's live. Hello, mouth pagers. Welcome, 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 everyone. Let's do a sound check. check, or check one, or one. One. Wow. All right, sound check. Testing, testing. One, two, one, two. About another minute to go, and we'll get started. Hope everyone had a great weekend. I know I did. I loved it. It was awesome. Rained a lot yesterday, though, but Saturday was really nice. Got to let the hair down, got to eat whatever I wanted. You know, Saturday cheat day. I love it. Yum. Oh, had pizza, mm. had cookies. Oh, it was awesome. And then yesterday was tough, but back on it, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. It is 7 o'clock. So, shalom, everyone. Welcome, Mouth Pagers. Happy Monday. Yom Shani. Hope everyone has had a great day, a great week, and is ready for our weeknight motivations. I am Rabbi Yak, located outside of San Francisco. Mouth Page is an online spiritual community and an online Jewish synagogue. Every Monday through Thursday, we do our live weekday motivations at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Every Friday is our Shabbat service at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So for those of you who are new to our community, our weekday motivations are designed to help each of you get motivated from a hard day, a hard week, and get ready for the week ahead. I try to make them short and powerful. They usually last about 10 minutes, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. We have been going live now. Now we've been going live for 14 weeks. Wow, 14 weeks. And we have over 6,500 mouth pagers liking us and following us on Facebook. So thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. So I hope you find our community a place where you can grow spiritually. So please tell your friends, tell your family, tell everyone. Let's get our community over 7,000. We're so close. We're almost there. So please continue to help us grow the mouth page community worldwide. The more people we can connect with, the more people we help grow spiritually. So please feel free to chat with one another also on Facebook. All right, so let's go ahead and kick it off. We will start with Psalm 156. Let all that breathes praise God. Hallelujah. 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 So last week, we were doing a series of who, what, why, when, where, how, and how much. Series of parts one through eight, eight being a recap, right? So tonight, well, first of all, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my take on it. hope it was great, educational. And tonight's motivation is where. Where? Where are we? which is part five. So how many of us do New Year's resolutions every year? You know, the a lot of people do New Year's resolutions every year. At the beginning of the year, it's about getting in shape, losing weight, working out, eating better, 
Then the old check the scale routine every day. Oh, looking at that scale. Oh my gosh, I didn't lose anything. Not nothing. Not one little ounce. Nothing. So then you're starving yourself, running even more. <laughs> oh, nothing. Ah. So every day you're like, oh my gosh, ah, I gotta lose weight. I gotta get in shape. The New Year's resolutions, right? And in December, we look at January and go, this is where we're going to be. This is where we're going to do. We're going to lose weight. You know, we're where? Where are we? We're going to lose weight. So when we look at the scale, where are we? Well, we're at the same weight we were yesterday. And that's kind of the same concept of what I'm trying to go for today is where are we? Because you, when you jump on that scale and look at your weight, you want to basically check where you are. Where were you? Where are you today versus yesterday? Well, it's the same thing here. Where are we? Where are we in our lives? Are we where we thought we were going to be? Are we ahead of schedule? Are we behind schedule? Or are we right on? Some of us wanted to be police officers, doctors, lawyers, firefighters, artists. Are we there? Where are we spiritually? Do we go to the church or synagogue on a weekly basis? You know, are we reading the Bible on a daily basis? Where are we on our, on our spiritual journey? Where are we with love and our relationships? Are we right where we need to be? Are we behind or are we ahead of schedule? Where are we with our family? Are we doing all the right things with our family? Are we spending time with our family? Are we taking the days off so we can spend time? Is you know spring break, summers? Where are we with our family? Where are we with our friends? Right? Are we in a good place with our friends and family? Are we doing the right things with our friends and family? Are we there for them and are they there for us? Where are we going? Where are we going in our lives? Are we going to the right spots that we need to go? Are we going ahead of where we want to be? You know, where we're going and where are we in our lives are very, very similar. Where are we going? Are we going in the right direction? Where are we with our dreams? Where are we with our goals? Do we set goals daily, weekly, monthly, yearly? Hence the New Year's resolution. Where are we with our dreams? Some of us wanted to be actors or hair cutters or <laughs> artists. But we're salespeople, we're construction workers. Where are we with our goals and our dreams? Are we where we want to be? Where are we with our attitudes? Are they positive? Are they negative? Are they in between? Where are we with our paths? Are we lost? Are we frightened? Are we lonely? Are we miserable? Now, I mentioned paths a lot. So for those of you who might be new to mouth page. I talk about our paths a lot. I talk about it a lot back in December, about where are we on our spiritual path? Where are we on our journey? So I use our path as our metaphorical guide, right? So where are we? Are we lost? Are we frightened? Are we lonely? Are we miserable? And where are we with God? Where's our relationship with God? Or is it where we want it to be? Or is it like a convenience store where you're there only when you need to get a, a pack of gum, right? Or a pack of something. You, hey, God, I'm here. I need something, you know. But where are we, really? Where are we with God? So this is a really good one because this is kind of like when you're on your New Year's resolution and you're saying to yourself, I want to lose weight. You jump on the scale. It's been three weeks and you lost nothing. Well, where are you? You're in the exact same spot. You're working your butt off, but you haven't changed anything. 
So where are we? Or you've been working out for three weeks and you've already lost seven pounds. Where are we? We're doing good. We've done something. Or, hey, I've lost 10 pounds. I've lost 15 pounds. I've actually put on 10 pounds. Where are we? It's the same thing here. Where are we? This is a good opportunity to evaluate ourselves. Where are we spiritually is a really good opportunity. So I made a list of where are we and to kind of help us along the way. So W, working with God to fix problems and heal others. H, have patience. Now I've said this a lot last week. You know, who, what, where, how, you know, there's a lot of H's there. So I've used this a lot because again, patience is so key. I know I struggle with this one a lot, but have patience. God will answer your prayers, but it's on God's timetable. So sometimes it might not be on our timetable, so we might be a little impatient. So have patience. E, everything you do, get God involved with. R, remember to put God first. Things will start to Align itself when you do that. E, every prayer strategy has great rewards. Away, A, sorry, A, where are we? A, away with evil temptations in your life. R, remember the closer you're to God, the brighter your path is. The closer, remember the closer you are, to God, the brighter your path is. E, evil will not defeat us. Evil will not defeat us. W, with God, everything is possible. Where are we, right? E, enter each day helping others to be nice. So I hope you enjoy my take on the where. Because this is huge. Where? Where are we? This is a good self-checking opportunity because I see so many people and I was one of those people that would only really go to tr go to services worship God on holidays I was a holiday person you know all right it's a holiday then I get all dressed up and then I go and I do worship like I was doing something really well right you can wear shorts and flip-flops and read the Bible every day. You can wear shorts and flip-flops and pray. God doesn't care what you look like. It's what you do. It's what you do, right? Where are we? But it's never too late. Never too late to evaluate and to change, to make some changes. We do it all the time with New Year's resolutions. Every year, I am going to lose weight. I am going to get in shape. It's going to happen this time. Or smoking, or chewing, or drinking. I'm going to quit this time. I guarantee it. But it happens. All of a sudden, it's March, and I've dropped 30 pounds. Wow, I actually did it this year. You can do it. That's what I always tell myself. I can do it. I can do it. I look at myself. I'm going to do it. Where? Where is my chance this time? I'm going to do it. Never too late. All right. Well, thanks again for watching. So before we end the motivations, I want to do close with some prayers and birthday wishes. So I'd like to pray for Bruce's up and uh, I'm sorry, Bruce's recovery from surgery, Catherine's recovery. Alice and Bill's Healing for Peace, fellow Rabbi Paul Walker, who is undergoing cancer treatment, Ren's Healing, Vicky's Healing, Ken's Illness, Sussie's Healing, Kenya's Healing, and I like to also want to pray for my wife, who needs some prayers for her healing as well. Birthday wishes. Happy birthday, Heather and Pam. Have a great birthday. All right, let's go ahead and end with Psalms 133. Vehinimatov. Hinimatovu manayam shevedachem gamiachad. 
How good and pleasant is it for brothers and sisters to dwell together in unity? Yay! Together in unity. I want to thank all of you for watching tonight. Thanks again. It is Monday night, so that means it's almost Saturday again. Yay! Cheat day for, for Rabbi Yak. Yay, Yak's excited. <laughs> so, got to my resolutions is losing weight, and it's every week. So dropping the, shedding the pound one day at a time, and it is not easy. But Saturdays is my reward. I open up ice cream, anything that is like, yeah, yummo, pizza. <laughs> All right, I, I, I fell off the tangent for just a second. So please check out our weeknight motivations every Monday through Thursday at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time on our Facebook page or on our website, www.mouthpage.com. Also, our Shabbat service every Friday night at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We also have all of our videos archived, so please check those out as well on our Facebook page, on our website, and our YouTube channel at Mouthpage Spiritual Community. And Mouthpage is a nonprofit organization, so please feel free to donate whenever you can. Monday, April 10th through Tuesday, April 18th is Passover week. So we're going to do the Passover project. Every day we're going to do something different. We're going to do one day we're going to do lighting candles. Next day we're going to say peace to everybody. We're going to get everyone involved. Let's tell everybody. Let's virtually rock Passover. Let's get everybody involved. Let's get peace. Let's get love. Let's get kindness. Let's get involved. I want to wish all of you a happy week. Thank you for watching. Remember, help others to be nice. God bless. Lila Tov. I love you all. Thanks again for watching. Oh, hello, Mary. I didn't see you jump on there. And hello, everyone on Facebook. Thanks for watching.